Hey, what's going on? As you can see that green Rolex box, it is the real deal. And we had a grand total of 4,485 and 85 cents. That is how much I paid to buy this Rolex. I bought this Rolex at Cy Frederick's Jewelers. Let's open this, see what we got. So I'm going, to take the, I'm going to pick up the box. I'm not an expert with watches. I do know this is a very nice watch, obviously. It is a Rolex. Um, as you can see, it is a Rolex Oyster Perpetual date just. You know, I was looking at the date date. Those things are expensive. Couldn't really get it. But I did find this and... I'm very happy, you know, I don't see too many watches out there that are Rolexes that are around, you know, $5,000. I think most of them are more expensive than that. You can find websites like First Dibs and find watches like that are Rolexes that are cheap, but I have never found a watch like this. I can't find it anywhere else. I'm trying to look up if you can help me find this exact watch somewhere on Google or on, you know, <laughs> even like a equivalent of Google Images. You know, I can't even find anything like that. I really can't. It's it's a really nice watch. I'm not 100% confident that that is true, but the fact that I can't find it anywhere has to be a good sign. Let's take this thing out of the comforts of its case. As you can see, just the one more time, I'll authenticate myself. You know, we've got the Rolex logo again here. So let's let's uh, put this back down. And as you can see, I've got the uh, extra link here. Okay. Let's put this down for a second. On my wrist, I have my dad's tag cure. Let's take it off though. The watch right here is even nicer than this. I found this watch sold on eBay or selling, I believe on eBay it was for $600. I don't know what the shipping was or if there was tax, but I mean, still impressive. Sorry, I'm trying to be very careful here. This is my dad's watch. Don't want to break anything. All right, cool. I mean, I know this watch, this video isn't about a uh, Rolex, but I just want to show you something. Look at that submarine guy. Kind of cool, right? I don't know if all tag hewers have that. But I think it's cool. Um, we'll keep this here, just so you can look at it. No, this is about a Rolex. Let's be honest. We'll put it to the side. We'll put it to the side. All right, let's put this on my wrist. And I love this thing. It, the clasp here. You really just don't, you don't even have to like pull too hard. Watch. Ready? I'm barely pulling. Ready? Like that was hard. That was not hard at all. That was not hard at all. And I love that. And it stays on your wrist. You would think with us with a such a clasp like this, you would just it, it would fall off your wrist or something. But it doesn't. It's a really nice watch. All right, you can take another look. One more look at this. None of the that a second hand isn't really on the twenty three or the hour hand. I don't know what was. I think they were both on it, but. I should say the minute hand, not the hour hand. But, you know, check it out. It's got a white gold. White, this circle here, I can't, I'm not going to ask, I'm not going to act like I know, because I don't. But this right here is white gold. This is silver. And then I don't know what's inside here. I know it's a metal. But I don't know which kind of metal. Let's put it on my wrist.
And just like that, it's on. So here we go. This is what it looks like. I think it's cool. I think it looks like there's bubbles or something in there. You know what I mean? Like, that's sick. Like, you got a water watch or something. Well, folks, I think you've seen everything there is to see. This watch is beautiful. With that being said, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. See ya.